Hi everyone. So these are the ridge goats. Uh, almost started uh, flowering. Um, around two months old. I have been keeping these in, uh, you know, indoors and also moved to greenhouse after I bought that because I don't want to replant it sooner and uh, let roly polies and slugs uh, eat. So this is time to replant them. And you have seen the trellis beside me. Um, I have amended amended the ground with the chicken manure and uh, just you know mix that with the potting soil. I have uh, um, dropped in the beds, so I'm going to replant this. So this is the spot I'm going to replant one of the beach coat and the other edge of the trellis there will be another one this bed got some soybean edamame onion uh, potatoes a couple of onions i just buried um, some radishes I'm going to use this uh, to replant some other vegetables that are growing in the greenhouse these ridge coats were in small container look at these roots Initially, I've replanted these to bigger container and look at the roots. I'm not going to disturb these because this is not a root bond. The soil is loose and not a lot of roots. Uh, so I'm going to just you know, replant this as is. Let's plan the second one. So here I got the chicken manure mixed. I'm going to dig a hole here. And uh, carefully take this off of the container. Same behavior. See? The roots not root bonded again so I'm going to plant it as is These are going to produce uh, a lot of uh, male flowers and uh, a few female. Uh, you always see a baby ridge core at the end of a female flower and uh, you always find ants on the vine. Don't worry about them. Those are not going to harm your plant but uh, those can help uh, pollinating ridge cords. Um, if you have time you can try hand pollinating them i have showed that in my previous video i'm going to copy the link in the description so if you need to know how to pollinate rich goats manually then you can watch that video hope that this is helpful um, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video